what a beautiful morning it is. Not. It is so gross out. It is like pouring. Luckily I was parked in the garage, so. Not too wet. That is the bad part about having a detached garage. You have to run out to it. But, um, that's also the nice part about being parked in the garage. Um, yeah. So I'm on my way to teach kindergarten. Hopefully that goes good. <laughs> I've always been more partial to like third, fourth, and fifth, like older kids. I like second grade, it's not bad, but I like fourth and fifth better. Just because you can do a lot more with them and it's more complex stuff, but um, this is more fun stuff for me, but the little kids are really cute, so. And you have to love little kids. Yeah, so it's my last day this week, hopefully. Well, tomorrow we're gonna go to Greenwood because my sister has her last. At Greenwood or Indy somewhere, I don't know. My sister has her last practice test to get her teaching license, so we're gonna all go up and then go shopping and eat or something, I don't know. But then Christmas is next week, I turn 26. I'm so old. Not really, it's not really that old, but um, yeah. Oh, this beautiful rain. Grossness. Over it. But, this is part of it. It appears that we have a storm of brewing and a rolling in. You can hear the wind. It is that windy. Oh my gosh, it's horrible. It's even darker over there. I had to take the cat to the vet. My mom swears she doesn't think Sydney's feeling good, but I don't think there's anything wrong with her. She thinks she's lost weight. I think she's lost weight because she plays more and she's more active than when it's just her and Miley there. So I don't think there's anything wrong with her, but I guess we can humor her. It is so ridiculously windy though. Oh my gosh. The day went really good for having kindergarten. They were really good. I had a couple teachers comment on how quiet they were. They couldn't believe it. Like people that come in and they take out kids for specials and stuff. So that's great, great news for me. Cause they were really good. They're all sweet kids. No problems at all. I mean, we had some chatty ones, but they're in kindergarten. I guess that's okay. They don't get a nap or anything, but. <sighs> It is craziness. Uh oh, it's weird. somebody I knew was one of the cops at the school did it. It's so weird. But um, it's they had a um, oh, a lockdown today because apparently there were reports that there were people with guns over by one of the schools. Turns out it was a person with an umbrella. Really, people? It's raining. You can't spot an umbrella from a gun. I think we need a work on things but I mean the backlash after the whole thing at Sandy Creek or San Sandy Hook Sandy Hook anyway all the backlash from that tragedy you know has just resulted in so many more kids thinking they're cool and making threats and stuff and I don't I don't understand I don't like school wasn't like that when I was in elementary school and high school and like you didn't have to worry but I mean now you have to worry and you have to take everything seriously even though a lot of the times it's not serious you can't afford not to because of the way the world is these days I don't know I don't under I don't understand what even ment mental illness whatever I don't understand what could be that wrong with a person that they would do something that horrible I mean maybe maybe it is mental illness that needs a different approach or different a stricter I don't know it needs something it doesn't I don't I don't agree with gun control laws because you do have a it's enumerated right in the Constitution that you have a right to bear arms and the once you start taking away stuff that opens the floodgates so I don't think that's the answer. But at the same time, something needs to be done somewhere. And I think I really think that mental illness and stuff, because the guy wasn't that old and I mean, had something more, had something been documented before or maybe there were, I don't know. 
you just don't know. But, I mean, I did see a very informative thing the other day about that was showing, obviously supportive of the NRA and stuff, but um, that about like Timothy McVeigh and how he didn't use a gun and stuff. Well, that that is true, and I I very I, I don't personally own a gun myself. My dad has guns, but I don't. And I even if people make the argument that they don't think people need to have assault rifles, some people collect stuff, not not necessarily to use it. I mean. I don't know. I don't know. You could just make so many arguments for and against. I think against is a little extreme. I think there needs to be something done, but I really think it needs to be mental health. That's just my rambling on it. And that's it. It's horrible what happened to the people there, their families, everyone. Like, no one should have to go through that at any time of year, especially around the holidays and I should have talked about this last week, but I didn't because, but mostly because I didn't have the time to know what was going on because I watched the news on Friday and I feel like they got everything wrong on Friday with just misinformation being spread around and, um, yeah, so now that a lot of it's out and I'm sure more stuff will come out and, yeah, that's it. That's all I have. It's horrible, but, so so stupid that it never even happened should have never happened on a more positive note or a negative note it's it's storming it's gonna storm i have to take sydney to the vet like i said earlier i don't want to go away to the vet that was the last thing i want to do is go for a nap because i'm gonna have to get up early tomorrow to go tindy my parents my sister's test and i don't want to go i don't like just going and shopping it's, we did it. So, I got so burnt out on it when I was younger because it's like all we ever did on weekends, like in middle school, we didn't have swimming or something. We'd go to Greenwood and go shopping. It's kind of over now. What are you doing, Colby? Colby, come here. Oh, don't be like that. Come here. Come here, old guy. Come on. Oh, are you gonna be? Cute? I'm gonna be cute. Uh, come here, roll it, roll it over. Roll it over. Aww. He's a good little guy, aren't ya? You're a good cat, Toby. So I've been sitting here trying to watch some YouTube videos on the TV and our Xbox. Um, the power keeps going out. Fantastic. So I haven't uploaded yesterday's vlog, which is probably a good idea. I didn't try to when I get home because that would have been a major fail. Because with the power goes the internet. Isn't that right, kids? Sydney, where'd you go? I had to take you to the vet. I'm not looking forward to that, but um, yeah. So. I just want a nap. That's really all I want. You're a dead caravan that makes you tired. <laughs> Because you're like, you have to be on the go, like, all the time. There's no, like, downtime with kindergartners at all. Except for lunch. And when we watched Frost of the Snowman, during recess. Because they had to stay in, so. I didn't have recess duty, the other teacher did. And luckily she was like, oh, let's just put in Frost of the Snowman. My mom is off, so I don't have to go. I don't have to go take Sydney to the bed. Yes, just, 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 just. Because I'll probably ride along. But I don't have to drive out there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, my car's in, my car's in her way. What are you doing, Colby? Colby, come here. Oh, don't be like that. Come here. Come here, old guy. Come on. Oh, are you gonna be? Are you gonna be cute? Uh, come here. Roll it. Roll it over. Roll it over. Aww. He's a good little guy, aren't you? You're a good cat, Toby. It's like super snowing. Kind of. It's our first snow. I love it. The road is like...